Hello everybody and welcome to another Angel Message. If you are new to this channel, a warm welcome to our community. And as always, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. Thank you for joining me again and now, let's get started, shall we? The Tarot Card of Light is Six of Cups. This card indicates that you reflect on a past which brought you emotional comfort and a sense of peace, reminding you of the simplicity of your childhood with a sense of longing. There may be people or memories from your past that are returning to you either in person or in your thoughts, bringing with them feelings of warmth and happiness. This could be a time where you feel emotionally generous and willing to share your happiness with others, celebrating the connections that bring you contentment. But there is something deep inside you which might draw you too deeply into nostalgia while it is pleasant to reminisce, there is a risk of becoming stuck in the past, which may prevent you from seeing what is going on in the present. Be wary of idealizing the past or neglecting the growth that comes from facing current challenges. The smoke rising from one of the cups may symbolize that something has not fully resolved or that it holds a significant emotional charge that needs attention. It is time to face it and let go. Enjoy the comfort you find in looking back, but avoid stagnation. Face the present and future with as much openness and courage as you did the past. The Tarot card of Shadow is Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords from the Deck of Shadow suggests that you may be feeling the weight of finality in a particular aspect of your life, be it a relationship, a phase, a project, or a deeply held belief. There may be a sense of mental or emotional overload, as if every challenge or difficulty has reached its peak. The central swords could signify one major issue that has been especially impactful or painful. This card implies that while you are facing a tough transition, there is also the promise of closure and the necessity of moving forward. It can be easy to become stuck in a narrative of victimhood or defeat. While it is important to acknowledge and feel your emotions, be wary of letting them define your path forward. Remember, this card also marks the end of a cycle, and with every ending, a new beginning follows. It is time to accept what has happened, to learn from it, and to let go. In doing so, you can make space for healing. The feeling of a sense of the unknown may be particularly strong as you navigate this period of change. Despite the uncertainties ahead, there lies an opportunity for personal growth and discovery beyond what you have known. It is clear that you find solace in the recollection of past joys and the simplicity that once was. Joyous reunions and the sweetness of nostalgia warm your heart, encouraging emotional generosity and the sharing of this inner peace with those around you. Yet, it cannot cover the pain you feel because of a recent betrayal, one you have not shared with the people around you and refuse to face. But the Ten of Swords from the Shadows is not allowing you that escape, but signaling an end to the pain which is reaching out to you from the dark. This card carries with it the promise of closure, difficult but necessary and asked you to not let the feeling of victimhood anchor you to the ground, but rise from the ashes of defeat. This is not the end for you, but a step forward to a new dawn, a fresh cycle where the wisdom gleaned from hardship is your guiding light. Thank you for listening to today's angel message. And if you liked the video and want to come back here, please subscribe to the channel as you stand at the crossroads between the past's echoes and the future's silence, trust the universe and embrace the unknown with courage. And I will see you tomorrow, my friend.